guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. So I have just gotten back from vacation a couple of days ago. I went to Yellowstone National Park and Grand Teton National Park with my family, which was really, really fun. And I took a little bit of footage while I was there of the different places that we went. And I thought it would be really fun to combine a travel vlog with a video about all of the outfits that I packed for my trip. It's been a little while since I've done a styling type of video, but I took with me some different handmade items along with thrifted pieces, old pieces from my wardrobe, and a few new sustainable additions to my wardrobe. So all of that is behind me here. So I thought I would just share that with you today and show you how I packed for this trip. I usually try to pack pretty light, especially if I'm flying and I flew out to Wyoming to meet my family and then I road tripped back with them here to Arkansas. So that was about 24 hours of car time. So I needed some comfortable things for a car trip as well. So I'll show you everything that I packed as well as some different clips from the trip. So I hope you'll enjoy it. So let me go ahead and jump in and show you all the pieces that I took with me. Now I packed everything in a carry-on bag. That's what I like to do when I fly. I prefer to just have a carry-on bag and my purse if it's a shorter trip. And then if I'm going on a longer trip, I'll take a backpack and a carry-on bag just so that I can put everything with me on the plane. I don't really like to check bags if I can avoid it. So all of this fit really nicely in my carry-on bag. So let me show you the different pieces. So starting out with tops, this first piece is a really simple basic piece. This is just a white t-shirt that's from Madewell. I got this one several years ago and it's held up really well. It's still in really nice Nice condition and it hasn't gotten any little fuzzies on it or anything so I really like that about this t-shirt it also has this cute little lettuce edge which I think is a nice little detail so this is a really good layering piece that I was glad to have with me then this next piece is a recent addition to my wardrobe this is from outer known which is one of my favorite sustainable brands I've actually worked with them in the past on my channel but I recently made an order for their summer sale and got this piece in that order this is called their poet blouse and it's in this really pretty embroidered white cotton and I just thought this was such a nice piece to add to my wardrobe I actually ended up ordering it in a different fabric as well and I took this one with me as well then first up in my handmade pieces I knew the weather was gonna be a little bit cooler while I was there so I took a few cotton sweaters with me I think that's a nice piece to wear in the summer because it's a little bit of a lighter fabric but it's still covering your arms and keeping you a little bit warm if you need that and this is one that I knit last year out of this light blue cotton yarn this is one of my favorite knitting projects that I've made I think it's such a great piece and then these two sweaters are also from the recent outer known sale and I will link to all these pieces down below if any of them are still available because they were doing a really great discount for these nicer sustainable pieces so I will link to them if they're still available but this one is a lace knit rust pullover which I really really love and then this is a darker rust button front cardigan in this nice chunky cotton yarn and this was the perfect layering piece to have I brought one of my sheared dresses with me for the car, and this is a very comfortable thing to wear on road trips, so I really enjoyed having this one with me. I will link in a card to the tutorial for this dress if you'd like to see how to make one for yourself as well. And then the last handmade item I took with me on this trip was this pair of linen shorts. These are the ones that I made in my most recent video, if you saw that, and these are just so comfortable and perfect for the summer. And then I went a little bit overboard with a number of pairs of jeans for such a short trip, but I like to have basically jeans for every day that I'm somewhere just in case I need extra ones if I get mud on them or something I like to have a lot of pairs of jeans so these are from Madewell they're a straight cut kind of darker wash pair of jeans and this is from their fair trade line and then these are a distressed pair of straight cut jeans that I got on thread up these are originally from J crew from their point sir line and then this last pair is a flared cropped pair that's from Rouge so along with these pieces I packed two pairs of shoes one pair of ballet flats that I wore in the airport I like to wear ballet flats in the airport because they're easy to take off in the security line and then I also brought a pair of white leather sneakers the purse that I brought with me on this trip is my vintage coach brown leather crossbody and this is one of my favorite just basic goes with everything type of bags and it definitely worked well for all of these outfits and then one more very important piece is my suitcase this I got from Target a few years ago before I went to Ireland and this has been one of my favorite purchases that I've made over the last few years it's such a great suitcase it's a carry-on size so it fits in the overhead bin but it is expandable on the side if you wanted to make it a little bit bigger I do find if I expand it that it doesn't fit in the overhead bin quite as well so that's better if I'm checking a bag 
but I absolutely love it. It's got the 360 swivel wheels as well. So this is my suitcase. So that's everything that I took with me. So let me show you how I put the different outfits together. So for the first day, I was flying to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and also traveling around Yellowstone a little bit. So for that day, I chose to wear this white cotton blouse paired with a dark wash Madewell jeans. I really love this combination of colors, the slightly darker wash jeans with the white blouse. I think that looks really pretty together. And then I paired this with my ballet flats and then just my little crossbody bag. This was a super comfortable outfit for the flight, but I did realize once I got to Wyoming that it was a little bit cooler than I was anticipating that day. So I definitely kind of wished I had had a jacket and I ended up borrowing my dad's Patagonia jacket because it rained a little bit that day. So you'll see in the clips that I'm showing of this part of the trip that my hair was definitely rained on. So maybe not the best piece on its own for that weather. I should have probably had a rain jacket with me. I'll talk about that a little bit more later as well. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright Then on day two, we were back in Yellowstone looking for wildlife and I had learned that it was going to be a little bit cooler. So for that day, I wore this little white t-shirt paired with this rust cardigan and this was the perfect weight for the weather that day. It was around like 60 degrees, which is a lot cooler than what I'm used to in the summer. So this kept me nice and cozy. Then I wore these jeans, which are from Rouge and I really like the length of that rust cardigan with these slightly more flared jeans. And then for shoes, I just wore my white leather sneakers. We spent most of this day looking for wildlife and saw a lot of cool things like bison and elk. We were looking for a moose and we didn't see one, but we did see a grizzly bear from a very far distance. I didn't get a video of that, but it was very, very cool. So we are currently in what is considered moose habitat, looking for any kind of wildlife that we might find. Sure. 
Then the next day we were at Grand Teton National Park doing a little bit of hiking, nothing too rigorous, so this outfit worked well for that. So I was wearing this hand knit sweater along with my linen shorts and I love how these look together. I think the color combination is so perfect. Now this day, once we got to where we were actually hiking, it ended up raining a lot. So I really wish I had a rain jacket that day. I ended up borrowing my mom's baseball cap. So shout out to my parents for having the appropriate gear that I could borrow for these different days. That was very helpful. Now, if I had been thinking appropriately, I would have brought my rain jacket with me. This is my rain jacket that I got from J. Crew a few years ago, and it's held up so well. This is one of my favorite items in my wardrobe, and anytime it's raining, this is what I'm wearing. But I really wish I had remembered to bring this with me for this trip. It would have been very helpful. Then for footwear for this outfit, I just wore my sneakers. Once again, they were perfectly fine for this hike. It wasn't too rigorous where I needed any kind of special shoes. I have had my white leather sneakers for probably two and a half years. They're from Madewell, and they're finally starting to look a little worse for wear so I did recently order a pair of Veja sneakers which are supposed to come in the mail today so I'm very excited to see how those will work but my sneakers are looking a little bit worse for wear so I think I'm going to retire them to be gardening shoes and move on to a new pair for regular wear. We are dreamers of the Hey guys, so I thought I would just check in really quickly and say hi because I haven't really had time to stop and say anything to the camera on this trip, but I wanted to just talk a little bit about where I am and what I'm doing. So I've been on a family trip to Yellowstone National Park and then today we're headed down to Grand Teton National Park and it has been so much fun. So I just thought it would be fun to take some little clips along the way and share that in a video about all of the stuff that I packed for the trip. So I hope this has been fun for you guys to watch. It's been such a great trip. I wanted to go to these national parks for such a long time and they definitely did not disappoint. Well, I haven't been to Grand Teton yet, but Yellowstone definitely did not disappoint. It was so so beautiful. We saw some really cool wildlife and just so much beautiful nature. So I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for somewhere to visit and it's perfect weather for the summer too. For me coming from a really hot climate in the south, it's really nice and cool up here. So I've been breaking out some lighter sweaters, which has been nice. It's been around like 60 degrees. So absolutely beautiful. But yeah, we're headed down to Grand Teton today to do a little bit of hiking and I will take you along for that. I'm out at our Airbnb right now, which is on this little lake, which is so, so cute. There's a lot of cabins around here and a few being built as well. Um, and then my outfit today, I've got this sweater that I knitted last fall and then these little shorts from my recent vintage set video that I made and I have this layered over a t-shirt in case it gets a little bit warm. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to go and I will talk to you guys later. I got some nice weather for hiking. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Just a little bit of water. Like Lightning. <laughs> we may live to regret this, but hopefully not. I know you've had a really bad day. But I'm right here, it's gonna be okay. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. If all the blue skies ain't too gray, we're gonna be okay. Calm yourself. Seriously? Yeah, barely. Yeah, you see. Look down the bottom of the goalie. Oh, right there. There's the mom. Oh my gosh. There it goes. This is what I wish I could do. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs>
So the last two days of this trip were car trip days. We were driving from Montana all the way to Arkansas, so it was quite a long drive. So for the first road trip day, I chose to wear my sheer dress. Again, this is just super comfortable because it's stretchy and then it's long enough to where I could kind of curl up if I was just sitting in the car. So very, very comfy. Just wore this with my sneakers and I was really glad that I brought this. And then for the last day in the car, I decided to wear this rust pullover sweater combined with these distressed jeans. And these jeans are really nice for wearing on something like a road trip because they are a little bit baggier, especially in the waist. I think my rouge jeans would have been very uncomfortable for that because they're high-waisted but quite tight at the waist. These are nice and loose and comfortable. So this was a really great outfit for the car. And again, I wore this with my sneakers. So that is everything that I took with me on this trip. It was so much fun to get to go somewhere new. I've wanted to go to these national parks for a really long time, but they've never been in a very convenient location for where I have lived. So it was really fun for us all to meet together, me and my family up there, and I really, really enjoyed it. It was great to see this part of the country that I've never seen before. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and seeing the different pieces that I took with me. I will be back to regularly scheduled sewing programming coming up soon, coming next week. So I hope you'll look forward to that. If you're headed anywhere this summer, let me know where you're going and what you're packing. I would love to hear a little bit about your different trips this summer, but thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out here on my channel today. If you are new around here and haven't subscribed yet, you can go ahead and do that by clicking the red button down below. And I would really, really appreciate it. And if you'd like to keep up with me outside of YouTube, TikTok and Instagram are the two best places to do that. So both of those will be linked down below as well. I will also link to any of these items that are still available for sale as well as any of the tutorials for the handmade items. If you would like to watch any of those videos that will all be down in the description box below. Thank you so much for hanging out here on my channel today and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!